uh, for this week. And let me get my iPad going here. All right, today um, I am doing a version of this pen, which is by Playswell with paperblogspot.com. It's from February 5th, 2020. And um, I really like the idea of the eye chart with the little uh, lens and the fact that the two little photos that they have down here that the people were wearing glasses. I thought that was real cute. Um, I am going to focus mine more towards art. Um, and this is an actual journal page in one of Tim Holtz fabric journals. And I'm going to do it as a folder. So, um, I'll show you what I mean here. So, that's our inspiration. And what I have is I have one of these Tim Holtz pre-made folders that came in a pack. They probably had, I don't know, four or five folders in there. And um, this one is the one that is not including the tab, it's four and a quarter by six and a half. Okay, so it's four and a quarter by six and a half, not including the tab. So I have, and I'm wondering, do I want to flip that? Hmm. No, I don't think so. We'll leave this on the outside. Um, this is kind of shiny. Um, so, I'm not sure how well, I mean, I know it will stamp, but I'm not sure how long it will take to dry. Um, so, I am not going to ink it on camera because I want to move through the project and then I'll probably go around at the end where I can let it set to dry um, with some vintage photo or something, just the outside of the folder. So I have basically the same uh, products that she used. I have the Tim Holtz eye chart. I have the little lens. Um, I did pick uh, different people. I have uh, a guy and a girl. And then my quote says, the artist must train not only his eye, but also his soul. And I'm going to put that right there. What I also plan on using is I have this uh, optical goods department page out of a replica Montgomery Ward catalog and I'm going to kind of tear part of that and put it in the background and then I'm also going to use some of it on the inside. I want to, I'm actually going to do the inside first because I want this top part to go in here and cover this whole inside. I'm just going to kind of fold that and tear it. Not care if it's perfect. It's still a little long. Where's my scissors? So, I hope everybody is doing well and having a good day. I am having a pretty good day. Okay, that's good with flies. I'm gonna rip it, I think, 
I want a little bit of that green showing because this is not going to have a lot of color or bam to it. So, um, a little bit of that green around the edge will be good. Okay, and this is not going to be a very detailed project either. But I really liked it. So it's a fairly simple one. Has a new glue stick. I love when they're glue when they're new because they're not all gloopy. And then what I'm going to do on the other side is I have cut, just cut some paper, random scraps, tore them, cut them, whatever. And I'm going to put them here, kind of like it looks like a medical record kind of deal. But my intent is for it to be like a little doodle pad or a little you know, where you can doodle or sketch or whatever. And then I have these little, you know, these little file things that hold papers that I've rested, kind of rested. They didn't rest real well, but they did a little bit. And I'm going to... Put it, if I can get the thing apart, my goodness. Can't be that difficult. All right, so I'm going to, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do it all in one shot. I'm gonna lay this up here and I'm gonna draw a circle. And I've not used one of these in a journal before or anything. I mean, I used to use them in the office, but not in the journal. In a journal. Okay, do I have that far enough over? Yes, I do. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the crocodile and I'm going to poke those holes and I'm going to hope that it goes all the way through all of them at once. So wish me luck. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Get out of there. And of course the thing got stuck in there so I can't see where I'm poking. There we go. All right, so let's do this one. I don't think I drew my holes too evenly, but it'll be all right. All right, so there's my two holes. Now, this will poke through the hole. Watch, it won't be big enough. And it's not. It won't go through there. Alright, stay in place. 
Let's see if I can make them bigger with the regular hole punch. Don't want to have to do them individually. I don't even know if I can get this many pages through there. See, normally I would do this with, you know, a hole punch that is made just for this for these, but I don't have one of those. All right, now let me see if I can get them. If I can get it through there. There we go, got that one. Part of the issue is I had to cut off the little tapered ends of those of that to because they were too long because obviously you know they're this long um and that was going to be too long for my little booklet and so that where those normally have a little taper on the end of it it doesn't have it and that's why it didn't want to fit through the hole as well. But, I think it's going to work. Luckily, you know, once the papers are in here, they're in here. Okay, slide over that just a tad. Okay. And put her perfect world that would slide over to the middle but I don't know if I can get it over there where I rested it it's kind of lost some of its slidability I could probably put some wax or something on it and it would slide better there we go all right, so there's our little pad just for doodling or sketching, and there's our inside. So now we can focus on the outside. So the first thing that I want to do is put my little quote on here, and I can go ahead and ink that because it's just regular paper. And I thought about cutting it up like they did in the um, inspiration pen, but I don't like the way that it goes against, uh, across the eye chart. So that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, and then our little card will go there. And I'm wondering, I might want to distress that a little bit. I still haven't found my distresser, guys. I've laid it somewhere, and I know that it's right in front of me. I knew it was laying here somewhere. Found it. 
Maybe I need to use the side chart. Oh, I meant to get a new pad to put on my dauber. That one's had it. Okay, let's glue this on. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Back up, back up. I'm going to put a little bit of this paper in here. Uh oh, I laid it on my wet wipe and got it went a little bit. I'm just kind of tearing the edges a little. It doesn't want to, it's like a regular newspaper. It doesn't want to tear this way. It tears this way fine, but it doesn't want to tear this way. <laughs> this says on the bottom, if you need spectacles or eyeglasses, your order is safe with us. We can fit you if anyone can. <laughs> That's kind of cute. All right, so. I don't want to lay that down just all the way because I've got glue on there. There's not going to be a whole lot of this that shows. I'm gonna go kind of like this. gonna go there. And then that is gonna go on there. And use our glitter glue for that, I believe. Oh, that's what I started to use when I was jumping the gun, isn't it? Nope, higher. Right, and then I'm going to put the lens on. And I'm hoping art glitter glue is going to work on this. If not, I know that collage medium will. Tim Holtz collage medium. But I'm thinking this will work. Might just take a little longer to dry. Okay, and then I'm gonna ink my little people wearing specs here. Uh, Try to hold this 
little pad together till the end of this video. Alright, now I want to do, like I said, I want to do some stamping. So I'm going to do all the stamping, um, except for around the edges, and just let it set and dry. But other than that, I do want to put something here. Um... Let me get my sentiment little things. I could do like a number to See anything there that's thrilling me too much? If I can get it back in there now. Um, let's see. What can we do? I do have the focus on the good. I don't have it in the big thick one, but I have this one. I could do that and put it on a bigger card. A thicker card, I think is what I'm trying to say. Yep. Oh, 
Oh, that looks terrible. thinking I want something dark behind it. Alright, so let me cut this. Sorry, guys, to cut something this small, I've got to have it closer to me. Otherwise, I'll cut my finger off or something. Let's raise that up a little bit with some <sighs> everything's crashing. Maybe we'll put the label right there. Maybe that's the ticket. See if I can grab those. One of these. Oh, I need one that other color, don't I? do that one then maybe we can do one right there as well
like an address label something like that I kind of want something that's gonna Nope. Okay, maybe I don't want something there. I like that. Okay, that'll work because it's green. So it kind of pulls in that green a little bit. Is that all I want? Got a little baby tag there that's got a 220 on it, but that doesn't really make any sense. Okay, let's see that. Glue. Way too much glue. Didn't do that one, did I? Oh. 
Okay. There we go. And like I said, I will ink around the whole thing. Um, and then let it set to dry because I do believe that if you tried to touch it right after you did it, it would smear. So, I will do that. But that's it for today's make. And that's just a cute little, cute little something to stick in a journal or to send out in Happy Mail. It just has, you know, some blank pages so you can make some notes or do some doodling or whatever. And, um... Yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. Now, you could decorate the back if you wanted. But, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Because if you did put it in a journal or in a pocket, um, you wouldn't see the back anyway. So, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I will see you guys back tomorrow for a 50 stack challenge until then everybody have a good evening bye